Today's video we are going to be talking about addition with regrouping. Our first examples are going to be about two digit by one digit addition with regrouping. In this example we have 17 plus 4. We know that 1 is in the tens place, 7 is in the ones place, and the 4 in the bottom is in the ones place. Okay? We're going to be we're going to do it two different ways. First way we're going to use manipulatives. So we have 1 tens, we'll be getting 1 tens and put it in the tens place. We have 7 ones which we're going to put in the ones place. 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7. In the bottom we have 4 ones. So we're going to put 4 ones. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Since we're doing addition, we're going to add all the ones together. But before we add all the ones together, we're going to remember that in the ones place we cannot have more than 9. If we have more than 9, we have to add them together and put them in the tens place. So in this case, we already know that we have 7 here and we're going to add 4 more. So 7, 8, 9, 10. Now that we have tens on the ones, we have to move it to the tens place. That's going to leave us 1 by itself. And now we have two tens. So our answer is going to be 21. The other way of solving the problem is that you can go ahead and put a line in here. So you can just remember that this is going to be your ones place. And this is your tens place. Okay. You can go ahead and use your helping hands and you always get the biggest number. So here you have 7 and 4. Your biggest number is 7. So you clap your hand and say 7 and you're going to add 4 more. So you say 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you're going to put 1 here and you're going to carry the 1. Now you're going to add 1 plus 1 is 21. Our second example is going to be 18 plus 6. We have 1 in the tens and 8 on the ones place. And in the bottom we have 6 and the 6 is in the ones place. So we're going to put 1 in the tens place. And now we're going to put 8 on the 1 side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And in the bottom, we're going to put 6 because we have 6 in the 1's place. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six. Now, going back to the other example, we cannot have more than nine in the ones place. If we do, we have to regroup and add one more tenth. So we already know we have eight here, nine, ten. So that ten becomes one tenth, and we're gonna move it to the tens place now. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, ones. And now we have 2 tenths. So your answer is going to be 24. The other way we talk about it, putting a line right in the middle. And you won't get confused. You can write tenths. And then you can write the ones place. We use our helping hands 
And once again, you look at what number is bigger. We clap and we say eight and we add six more. So we say eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You have 14. You can only have no more than nine. So you're gonna leave the four there and add one more in the tens place. Now we're gonna do one plus one. Now we have two tens. So your answer is gonna be 24. In this problem, we are gonna be doing 16 plus six. We have one in the tens place, we have six in the ones place, and in the bottom, this six is in the ones place. So we're gonna put one in the tens place, now we're gonna put six in the ones place. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And in the bottom, we're gonna put six ones as well. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we have six on the top, and then we have six in the bottom. Same way we have it here. Now, going back to the rule, we cannot have more than nine in the ones. Once we have more than nine, we have to move that to the tenths place. So here we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that ten becomes, you move it to your tenths place. And that ten, you can leave it that way, or that ten becomes one of the tenths place. Now we have only two left in the ones. And now we have two tenths. So your answer is going to be 22. We're going to solve it the other way now. A line across. And remember we have the one in the tenths. And this is in the ones place. So we have 6 plus 6. We're going to use our helping hand. We say the biggest number, in this case, is the same number, so it doesn't matter. We say 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're going to have 12. But we cannot have more than 9 in the 1's place. So we're going to take the 1 that's in the 10's place and add it to the tens place and we're gonna add it and now we have two tens so now your answer is 22 our next examples we're gonna be talking about is uh, two digit by two digit addition with regrouping here we have 16 plus 15 we have one in the tens place so we're gonna put one we have six on the ones place, so we're gonna put six. One, two, three, four, five, six. On the bottom, we have one, so we're gonna put one in the tens place. And then we're gonna put five in the ones place. One, two, three, four, five. Remember what we talked about before is that we cannot have more than nine in the ones place. We already know we have six here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that ten becomes, we move it to the ones place and it's only going to leave us with one once. Now we have one, two, three. Tens. So our answer is going to be 31. The other way we can solve it is right, right in there, middle of the line. This is the tens we have in the ones. We use our helping hands 
Just look at the biggest number. Six is the biggest number. We clap our hands and say six. And we're going to add five more. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But we cannot have more than nine in the ones place. So we're going to take this one and add it in the tenths place. So now we're going to have one, two, three in the tenths place. We're going to do a little bit harder problem now. We have 36 plus 28. So we have three in the ones place. So we're going to put one, two, three tenths. And we have six ones. So we're going to put up six in the ones place. One, two, three, four, five, and six. In the bottom we have two tenths. We have eight ones. I'm gonna put eight ones in the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember we cannot have more than nine ones. So we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Since that's more than 9, we're going to move those 10s to the 10s place. So those 10 becomes 110. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4 ones. I'm going to put 4 ones. And we're going to count how many 10s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And all these little ones have 10. It's going to give us one more 10. So it's 1. Two, three, four, five, six. So our answer is 64. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do it the other way. We got tens. We have ones. We're going to go, what's bigger, six or eight? Eight. We're going to clap in our hand. Eight. And we're going to add six more. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. But we cannot have more than nine on the ones place. So we're gonna take that one and add it at the on the top. And we're gonna count three plus two more. We say three, four, five. But don't forget we got one more. It's gonna be six. So your answer is 64. Our last example, we're going to be doing 37 plus 13. I want, to, I want you to pause the video now and try to solve it on your own. Now let's check our work. We're going to do 3 in the tens place. So we're going to put 3. And we're going to put 7 in the ones place. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, five, six, seven. Now we have one on the tens place, and we have three in the ones place. One, two, three. Remember, we cannot have more than nine in the ones place. We already know we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the ones place. Eight, nine and 10. So we're going to move those 10 to your 10's place. Now we don't have nothing in the 1. So you're going to have 0. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Because remember, this all 10 becomes 1 tenth. So 1, 2, three four five okay do it the other way line down the middle tens and ones we have seven so and three get the biggest number which is seven and we're gonna say seven and add three more eight nine ten 
but we cannot have more than nine in the ones place so we're going to take that one and add it to the tens place we have three plus one more is four plus one more is five so our answer is going to be 50.